So the big finale, is there anything you can tease about it? Uh, I, someone may die and uh, love is requited. <laughs> is there anything that you as an actor were able to like, take away from the set that you claimed to see some memorabilia? You know what I want? I wanted so bad. There in, in the house of Bob and Lee, there are silhouettes. Uh, you remember the old school with the Olin Mills, where they would they would cut out your you know in black they cut out your silhouette and they put it up on the wall, put your name on it. There was one of Bob and Lee in the house, and it was in our the very first scene we ever shot. It was in it, and it lasted in our house the whole time. And I was gonna go back up and get it, and we never went back to the set to the houses, so I never got it. I may have to still go back to the house, go back to Universal and take it. So recalling back over the years, what was your favorite Bob and Lee moment together? My favorite Bob and Lee moment of all time is when. And, uh, I can't remember the character's name. He came out of Terry Hatcher's house naked. He fell out the window. And our characters were sitting in chairs. And it was no dialogue in the scene. The scene was simply, we're sitting there drinking coffee, reading a paper. We, I look up and I see the guy. I nudge him. I pull up my phone, take a picture. And we put our phones back and we go back to our papers. <laughs> that was my favorite moment of all time. Pretty good classic. Yeah. How about favorite death of one of all the all of Rage's characters on the show? Uh, uh, well, I think one of the best death scenes was, was Mike Delfino. I mean, I think. Of all the deaths, My that's the most interesting. And, and I think we'll show yeah. Okay, last question. Okay. What's your um, shout out to the fans who've been loving the show for us? I just thank you for watching. We we are unbelievably honored and uh, proud to have been a part of this, and without you watching, it would never would have happened. So thank you. Awesome.